wasn't too long ago uh, where no one wanted to build any type of housing in Bronx County. If you go back to the 80s, the early 90s, there was a lot of problems in this community. Housing deterioration, stores moving out. But we've seen a resurgence in the past 10 or 15 years or more because we have developments such as this. It is really the type of development that we want here. This project got started because obviously you have developers and construction company in Jackson and Joy who believe in the Bronx. One of the greatest gifts I think anyone in the private sector can give to the Bronx uh, is to believe in the Bronx. And by building this housing development is certainly believing in the Bronx. On behalf of Jackson Development and Joy Construction, we thank you for joining us for the Decatur Terrace Ribbon Cutting Ceremony. This building is an example of the mid-income product that is so in demand in this county. This is a 122 unit middle income project. It's going to have 8,800 square feet of uh, community space. It's in a middle class neighborhood in the North Bronx and, and fits very nicely into the social fabric of the community. I think it was a parking lot at one point and the developers uh, located it and bought it at a reasonable price and uh, converted what was essentially uh, an underutilized asset into a real social asset. It's something that this community really needs. It's, uh, we obviously uh, need more housing, but we need quality housing and that's what I see here. Building in New York requires a bank, a construction loan, and we are proud to say we have had one of the finest. Citibank has financed the construction of six buildings for Joy Jackson. Not too many lending institutions who uh, have believed in our borough over the last couple of decades, but Citibank has been certainly one of those lending institutions that make us all proud. The financing included bonds that were issued by HDC um, and partnership with the HPD organization. So we were able to leverage all of the resources and the equity that the borrower provided. In speaking with some of the tenants who live here, there isn't much stock in the area for new construction affordable housing and they were very excited about coming here and living in the building to have a place that has beautiful finishes that is in an area where they can easily commute to work. It adds value to this community. building itself, I just love it. I just love it. And the location is great, because like, like I said, I work up the block. It's about a population here in the Bronx who understands that this is home, who understands that this is where they want to continue to raise their children and their families. Many of these developments cannot happen without uh, a lot of cooperation from the City of New York, HPD, HDC, the banks and elected officials, the community boards. So this is a collaborative effort where people are looking at uh, properties here in our borough and we're going to continue to build and we're going to continue with that wonderful revitalization story that we've seen over the last two decades. I am very proud and happy to be a native of the Bronx and this just reinforces it. This is what makes the Bronx beautiful and what's going to make the Bronx beautiful for years to come.